My best friend's got two mums and they're both nice. And she can go to either one for advice. Of course, she got bullied in school. You see, when playground play was the thing, being gay was not cool, it was shit. But she grew up a bit and got more open-minded friends. Her mums don't live together. One had a two-room co-op on the top floor, the other had a two-room co-op on the middle floor, but the flats were separated by doors, so my friend was an overloaded with parental sensibility. She could pick which one she stayed with, at with, played pool with, got advice from, and that's her double secret. I envy the materiality which separates her mothers. She can be in one part, then leave and be in another, door shut, slam, one part over. Door shut, slam, one part over. My double secret slips and slides. It collides in my mouth. When I beg one part to hide, the other obliges. My double secret comes back to haunt me when I don't want it to. After two drinks, the doubles pushing through. My double secret is that I've got two voices. I didn't always have two voices. One crept in when I was unaware. The first voice, mother one, had a confused tongue at the best of times. See, Camden raised council housing, but radio four blasting. No P, but cultural dollar stacking. At school, I was middle class, cause I listened to old school hip hop rather than pop. I cracked jokes with the Somalis and real estate girls and they called me posh, cause I prefer Thai weed to skunk. And slang vocabulary came naturally to me. And I loved getting chats on the road because I'd always have a nan come back. E.g. your mum. See? The second voice came to me slowly after the first day of uni. You see, I quickly realised that unless I wanted to say things five times, my slang was redundant here. What's more is I was thinking about things my old voice couldn't get its tongue round. These concepts required an eloquence I hadn't previously found and I didn't meet anyone that sounded like me. So I assimilated my first voice. Only on stage when I played caramel coloured confused cockneys could my first voice be free. Or when I went back home. But when I went back last time I thought it was a joke when I heard pagan, ham, moist. I ran on my toes to keep up but it wasn't enough. My first voice was sick not meaning good. I wanted to share my new knowledge with my old friends, but translation was tricky and they didn't get me. But to break into the new voice of me rejecting the first and what's worse, I probably didn't speak either properly. But you know what? I've got my own rhythm. I've got my own rhyme. I've got my own sense of time and my own bass line and I'm going to do it my way. Celebrate linguistic diversity.